Displacement-based design is a design procedure where the limit state that we're concerned with is displacement. So we limit uh, and design uh, based on the displacement of our structure. Generally, uh, we'll be concerned or, or use displacement-based design um, in earthquake settings. And let's say we have a column and we apply a shear. We have an axial load. And let's say we also have a moment. Uh, so what will happen to this column is we'll have some kind of displacement, which we'll draw our displaced column in blue. And let's call this distance to our blue column there delta. So if we were to plot our delta versus shear, what we'd have is at the beginning we'd have a, a relatively a uh, large force with a small deflection while we're in the elastic zone. And then when we start to go inelastic, um, you'll see that with a relatively small increase in force, we'll have a large uh, displacement. Um, so you can see that uh, maybe up to the point where we start to go inelastic, um, uh, force, or we can increase force with uh, only having a small increase in deflection. But then later, a uh, small force change, so let's say a small uh, force change is going to equal a large uh, deformation. So in situations when, um, when we're in this inelastic zone, uh, our deformation um, is a better damage indicator. And uh, this may be when uh, displacement-based design would be appropriate.